Hello, my army of darkness, that darkness here, bringing guys another episode of our Fire Emblem Fates Let's Play. Oh man, it's sorry, guys, I'm a little sweaty. I mean, I can give my legs room to breathe. But anyway, now you guys are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded since Monday. Well, Tuesday I tried recording, but there were technical difficulties. And then Wednesday, I just didn't record because I was too busy sharing with my friend. And I don't want to mention his actual name, but he goes by Ghost Rider because that's his favorite movie, one of my favorite movies too. But you guys know I can't just choose one favorite dream. Well, most of the time, anyway. But, yeah, basically stuff happened. Now, anyway, let's just get into this video. Enough about why I haven't been uploading. Alright, well, actually, no. <laughs> let's not get into the video. I gotta tell you guys something else first. Don't forget to let me know which family you want me to choose. You can go on my Twitter, leave a comment down below. Go to Discord. Just let me know. <laughs> also, I have a poll on my Twitter. So. And. Pardon me. And also, let me know which person you want my character to marry first. And. So, what are for the choices for the female staff being introduced? Or. Any of the Hoshin girls you guys saw the blue haired girl Azura from that beginning scene where she was singing and any of the annoying girls. But my friend already gave me a suggestion for that too. So so far it looks like we're gonna go with Camilla. But anyway. Alright, Jaquan, let's go in there together. I'll help as much as possible. This is our father we're talking about. He has to forgive you, right? Yes. Right. Thanks, Elise. I hope you're alright. Let's do this. Did I say you're alright? I hope you are right. Alright, deep breath, and here we go. Father, we have something we need to talk to you about. I forgot. <laughs> You guys don't need to see the bottom screen, so. God, yeah. Father? Huh? It sounds like he's with someone. Maybe we should come back later. <sighs> Who's there? Sorry. Oh, sorry to bother you, Father. <sighs> yes, we apologize if this isn't a good time. What do you two want? Well. Father, we're here to apologize. Right, Jaquan? Yes. That's right. I'm sorry for questioning you. You may answer. No. Jaquan, you disobeyed a direct order from me. Or no, you would not still be alive. I understand. No, father, I can explain. Silence! As you are my child, Quan, I will grant you some leeway. I have something in mind for you. A mission. If you complete this task successfully, I will pardon your crime in full. Really? What sort of mission? Listen well. There is an abandoned fortress perched on the Hoshian border. I wish to know the building there remains serviceable. Order the child to the site and inspect the premises. No battle will be required. Do you understand? I won't tolerate being disappointed twice. Yes. Yes, father. You shall be done. This could be 
trouble. Got some milk over there in my Punisher cup. P P Punisher mug. Let me stop. Speaking of, uh, that's a game I didn't get the chance to play that I want to play. It's Cuphead. It seems really fun. Anyway. Darling, are you sure you're going to be okay out there? I don't like this. <laughs> of course, please don't worry. It's just an abandoned fort. You're acting rather casual about all this, Shaquan. It isn't like fire to be so forgiven. What do you mean, Leo? That's enough, Leo. You don't be so worried all the time. Sheesh. Don't even try to scare Jaquan before his first mission. Bitch slap. <laughs> hey, that's not necessary. I suppose I'll just have to come along. That way I know Jaquan will be safe. I'm afraid that's not possible. Yeah, I go. Mr. Big Man on campus. Why ever not, Iago? Let me explain. Lady Camilla, King Garen intends to this expedition to be a test of sorts. As his top advisor, I have been entrusted with coordinating this mission. He would like to know whether Prince Jaquan is worthy. After all, he is a part of the royal lineage. Therefore, your assistance would simply muddy the results. Camilla. I need to do this all by myself. Surely you understand. Not all by yourself, Jaquan. Father? I didn't see you there. Rest assured, I don't intend to send you out there. Out there completely defenseless. I cannot speak. <laughs> My lord. This is Hans. He's a veteran warrior and will ensure no trouble befalls you. Hmm. I won't be thanking him just yet. I'd be wary of that man if I were you, Jaquan. Why you say that? He's a criminal, a murderer, and a scoundrel. I arrested him myself years ago. Father seems to think he's rehabilitated, but I'm not so sure. That said, he's a formidable soldier. I see him. Well, that's more of a warrior, I see, I guess, that's his answer. I see. Boundless Canyon North. This is it, the Boundless Canyon. Yes, it is a natural boundary dividing Noah and Hoshida. It can't really be Boundless, can of it? Course. Let the eternal darkness below be your answer. Those who fall in never return. I truly despise this place. Something about the land around here just isn't right. The sky here is always dark and foreboding. A lightning cross strikes all and fly across. This is clearly a place as mortals should ne nev were never meant to enter. Normally, we go around. I just think Gunther is such a badass that I have to give him a badass voice, you know? But that fort the king, that King Garen once surveyed is right over there. No, oh, it's not so bad. Or perhaps I'm just happy to be outside in the fresh air. Compared to the inside of that fortress, this is downright exciting. Ha! Oh that certainly puts things in perspective, my lord. Come, let us proceed. Blast, it looks like this forest is as abandoned as we thought. Why the devil is this place crawling with Hoshidans? Hold on. Do not advance any further, soldiers of Noi. Crossing that bridge was a violation of the border treaty. Turn back at once, or we'll be forced to attack. What should we do? I don't know. We're not here to fight. I suppose we'll have to turn back and report to body. Wise decision, Lord Jaquan. Who asked you, old man? What? Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Die, scumbags. You'll pay for this. 
Hans, what are you doing? We have no reason to engage these troops. Why? We should have tried diplomacy first. We weren't sent here to fight. <laughs> Speak for yourself, weakling. What was that? What's that supposed to mean? Oh. Call me weak. Boy, I'm a pimp splat you. Back in that hole. I literally laugh at anything, even the dumbest littlest things like that. Soldiers of Hoshido, hear me. Do not leave a single noise in the life. There, I got back in the cabin. Prepared to attack. Looks like there's no getting out of this now. Get ready to fight, Rich Kwan. Seize the building. That's what we need to do to win. Now then, Rich Kwan. There are two kinds of battle formalities. You'll need to learn both and fast. This part I also played past, but since I have to start over from where I left it off last time, yeah. You can take a defensive position. Basically, I'll explain this. Basically, this is the partner system, the parent system. You can move next to an ally and select pair to move into that unit's protection. The lead unit will receive a stat boost and the cover unit will be hidden from attackers. Basically only the lead unit gets attacked but they have stat boost depending on what that unit that pairs up gives them. Because the unit that pairs up is the one that gives the stat boost and doesn't get attacked. In the course of battle, you accumulate points that will eventually trigger Dual Guard. Dual Guard, the full bar of blue shields, which I thought that was a guaranteed blocked attack. No, it's you block any attacks you receive for that one encounter. Pardon me. So, two people attack you, you'll block both attacks if you have full blue shields. If you don't, and one attacks, and then you get full blue shields, then you'll just block the other attack. Either way, you use that full bar of shields as soon as an attack gets blocked. And the one that gives the stab boost is the one that blocks for you. Also, while well paired, the cover unit will defend the lead unit from all dual strike attacks. Like that, no damage. In other words, that person takes no damage and they jump in front of you. So that no one gets hurt. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is move here. Well, just for XP. Because why not? And you wanna get. You wanna get SP in this game. And now pair it up. No defense, but it's fine. Like, my character can take a few hits. Quite a few hits, actually. And Felicia wait right there. Since that's as far as she can move. Zero damage. 18. Now what? That guy did zero because he didn't have enough strength to beat my character's defense. Which is currently 6 because it didn't go up at all from that stat boost. I must become even stronger. I must. Zero, 18. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention. Allies that going to combat with you if they're paired up with you they don't receive XP if they're next to you and they also get a hit in they receive XP I'm afraid the enemy's position across that bridge may be impenetrable we got to look for another way across Lord Jaquan see you can find a dragon man around here so this is the second time your character gets to use a drag ring. You can use it to create a bridge there or there. And you don't want to go over here. These guys will kill you. 
There's like what? Yeah, four, five guys, and one of them can actually move. The other ones stay just attack you if you're within range during the enemy phase. But anyway, wait there. Go over to Felicia. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this just cause I want to. Well, actually no. Never mind. I'm gonna. I'm, I will show you guys the healing. These are the healing ones you can press staff. Or you saw that icon right there. That immediately goes to this. And if I have multiple healing items, healing things to use on other characters, then I could press X or Y to switch. Just like if you have multiple weapons, you can do that to switch weapons when attacking. But you know, you're gonna heal her boy Jaquan here so that she can get extra XP for it. It's always good to heal someone even if they don't need the healing. Just for the extra XP. Like if no one needs healing, just heal anyway for the extra XP. But you can't heal if they are at full health. But as long as they have at least one point of damage done to them, you can heal. Anyway, God die. Ron's just gonna almost die here. In the next turn, he's going to die. But anyway. Well, he's not going to die. But you guys, you guys will see what happens. Gonna activate this dragon man. A activate this dragon man. Dra dragon thing. Gods, did you see what happened to the cliff? Oh wait, that was the ninja guy. Sorry. <laughs> Who are we dealing with here? There we go. Gotta get on the cool. Oh, I'm, I'm too cool because I'm a ninja. I'm too cool to talk normally. Gotta get on that voice. Transfer. If you do transfer, anyone who you stand next to that has an ally, transfer. you can transfer them over. That ally over. So, but it shows your shields. If I were to do that, she gained three shields from this. Jaquan would lose three shields and not have those other shields. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, he would lose all of his shields actually. It's just saying that if you transfer again or something like that, then he only gains three shields back, which is what those dark, darken shields mean. And then blue means they gain the shields. Red means they lose the shields and they're not getting them back. But anyway, I'm not going to. Well, Gupta gives a strength boost. Yeah, Felicia needs that more than my character. So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Because Gupta also gives defense boost. And yeah, the Risha could use that too. Wow, looks like I've done enough damage for the time being. Time to lay low and see how all this plays out. See, he's not actually dead, he just left. And he's gonna be plotting something. As you can see from his dialogue there. Felicia leveled up from that. Oh man, come on, girl, letting me down. <laughs> yeah, the way the stat game works in this game, it's it's random. Sometimes they'll gain one, sometimes they'll gain other times they'll gain two. They can gain up to like I think seven is the most you can gain just from a normal level up. And if you change your class, then all of your stats could change depending on what you claim. Change your class to some classes stat. Some stats get lower while other ones get raised. Some classes get raised stats only. Some classes get raised stats, and some stay the same. And some can also be lowered. It really all just depends. But anyway, we sure only got luck, but it's fine. 
any stat gain and level up is an important important one. Doesn't matter if they gain one stat, if they gain two stats, whatever. But it helps if they gain a lot of stats. Anyway, I think I'll just move my character down here, have Felicia take this enemy out. And since she's a maid, so she can attack from afar with dagger. I'm gonna attack from here. And not only about taking damage, obviously. Because 11 damage to his 10 health, I think he had. But yeah, don't do that. Now, this guy, he's a boss, so he can't move. He can only attack. And since he's a ninja, he attacks two spaces, so he can attack. There, he can attack diagonally, he can attack there, and then stay on the other side there, diagonally. So, that's why to take him out, it's just, not that actually, but, so what's your Gunter? You can press A to go to a space and then switch, or you can switch where you're at, but then you won't be able to move, so. If you do need to move somewhere, make sure you go there, then switch. But anyway, attack. 14 damage, and he does 0. Do you even realize what you've done to here today? Oh, she won't stand for an unprovoked attack like this. Revenge will be ours. Alright, before I seize this, uh, seize the building. Which basically means take over. You guys don't know what seize, seize means. I'm going to um, save it and end the video there. Because I don't have time to. Uh, like enough time to go through the dialogue that's going to follow up after this battle. So you guys are going to see how battle saving works. And how the Axis battle save. As soon as this guy and that other guy is dead. Damn you, this isn't over. Damn you, sir. Level up. Got a half full XP bar. Level 5. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Although the bosses are the tougher enemies. Like the toughest enemies on the field. Or... Any, any enemy with sh a shield icon. Look, more troops are running from the south. More enemy reinforcements? Take care of caution, Lord Claw. We're talking about reinforcements. Don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do here is switch to Felicia and heal my character. One more guys, I'm still going to be going after Camilla, it's just that right now, Felicia's the healer, so I need to, yeah, that was like I need her help again. I'm really worried about this because I don't want them to get to like, all of a sudden be at A rank and then I can't heal my character with her do anything. With Felicia, that involves my character. And it's gonna suck. And then the same thing for my character. Can't do anything with my character that involves Felicia. Does this. Yes. Yes, it does please me. Yes. HP. So important in this game. Magic. I could care less because you don't really need the magic. I can't really do that, so what I will do. I forgot to turn that on at the beginning of the fight. But anyway, what I will do is hit A. Oh, and you have to not be over a character. You can be over a grayed out character, like a character that you already used their turn. But you can't be over a character that hasn't taken their turn, or else it just makes them take their turn. But you can hit A. I think you can hit start too, actually. Let me see. No, you can't hit start. Yeah, start does nothing here. Anyway, you can hit A. You go to save. 
and this is the battle save. You can only have two save slots, but that's just to save the battle, like save where you're at in the battle. You can also bookmark, place a bookmark here, but in Fire Emblem games, once you place a bookmark and go to where you bookmarked it at, the bookmark gets deleted. So you have to either save or bookmark again if you can. I never used the bookmark system for this game for Fates, so I don't know if there's a limited number of bookmarks you can have or what. But anyway, it just saved. So that's gotta be all for now. You guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, oh crap, there you go. Also, follow me on Twitter or just go look at my Twitter. You don't have a Twitter for whatever reason. And also, check out my Discord server. And both links will be in the description below. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.